What's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to MC Eternal. It is your friendly turtle boy with his turtle uh, baby turtle on top of his head. How are you guys doing? Um, I we got our skin back. I am very excited. We've also gone ahead and upgraded to uh, the 1.3 version. 1.3.3. I don't know if there's any way to see that on the F3 screen. I don't think there is. But yeah, we have upgraded. Um, I'm actually not running Optifine like I was last time, and we seem to be doing okay. So I have done a few things off camera, and I want to get your guys' opinion. Uh, so if we come up here, and we kind of come over here. I've done a little bit of building off camera, and I really, really want you guys to see it. So if you look at the mini-map, you can see there's a large white object on this. And so this is the building that I've been just kind of working with. So... I, I'm gonna be honest. Last night I was just listening to some, watching some YouTube videos. I was watching a, um, the speed run of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, Blue Rescue Team, which is a game I used to play all the time as a kid. And I was just watching a speed run of that, and I was building. And this is what came of it. Um, I really do like these anti blocks. Like I don't know why. I just love them. Uh, I don't know how I'm feeling about this whole area here. I might need to change that up. But we're going to have this kind of come out a little bit. That's the build limit, so we can only go up just a little bit more. But this is going to come out, and we're going to have like a big base on top of here. I've also gone ahead and put a building around our automatic processors. Or our inscribers, sorry. Um, but there's one thing that worries me. For some reason, there's 61 redstone in this one. But there seems to be adequate redstone in all of these. So that's like nine redstone have just disappeared. And I'm also having an issue automating something else I want to talk to you guys about. I put the um, the display stands in power over here. So I've also added uh, zombie pigmen to our, our farm down there. I can't zoom in, unfortunately, but we're getting a heck ton of gold now, which is amazing because we definitely needed gold. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys the obsidian maker here off camera. Yeah, we just have lava and water and stuff like that. Obviously, I've added some more vibrant capacitor banks around here. They're going all the way around the side. So basically going to look like this. It's going to loop around the back like this. I didn't have enough to finish off this side, so we're going to cover that up soon. And we're actually going to paint these blocks eventually to probably like a sky stone, and then we can have the these guys here. So it tells me how much power is coming out of the system and how much we're getting in. But uh, that's pretty much all the progress I've made. I've added a few more of these drives... Uh, and a bunch more of the 64Ks that haven't even been touched yet. But I haven't found a good design for these ME drives. And I want to make like a an amazing ME drive room. And I think I'm going to work on that for next week. Because this video is going to be coming out, you know, Friday, right? When you're watching it. But um, through the weekend, uh, I'm going to be go ahead and working on a making one of the islands our drive one. And we've also discovered, you know, we, we've I've made a I've I've got this to work. So the quantum link chambers they have to be like the same channel color that you're using on the each side. So if you're using lime over here, you got to be using lime on the other one. I didn't know that. I thought it just linked up, and this is how it linked to the network. So if we were to connect this to red, say a different one, we'd have to use red cable on the other one. So it's very simple. A lot of you probably knew that. I definitely didn't, and it's very helpful now. But guys, we're having an issue making these vibrant capacitor banks, which is the whole thing of the episode. You probably know from the title and the thumbnail. We are out of emeralds. Like, we have no emeralds available. And I say that, and we probably have a few emeralds available. Uh, yeah, we have just this many, but we don't have a way of getting more emeralds. Now, we're going to be testing something out. I've got a mob duplicator here, and we're going to make another Tinker Smeltery. And if you guys have known Tinkers for a while, you know that if you accidentally drop villagers into a Tinker Smeltery, that they die. Instead of giving blood, they give emeralds. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be seeing if that's still a thing and dropping some uh, villagers into into some tinker smell trees, because I think that's pretty neat. And so we're gonna go ahead and throw all of these guys, and then we're gonna speed this bad boy up. And guys, I might have a few hours logged in my time on the I just got a full day, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and set this to the bottom here. Okay, so now we should be good. Come on out of there. Good. Okay, so that's chunk loaded, so we should be able to use our seared brick here. I don't know how much we have. Oh, we have quite a bit. Very cool. This will work out great. Come on. Give me that. Thank you, server lag. I can really count on you to be an absolute jerk. <sighs> so 
I swear, if it gives me two of these, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, so we got a Tinker's brain. We need some glass. We got glass. We set that. <gasps> Come with the dang glass! Okay. We got glass. <laughs> I'm fine. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to use this island to test. So we're just gonna make a simple. I think we're gonna do a three by three just to be safe. Okay, now we need to make this kind of tall and tall. Freaking heck. Place the blocks right, please, game. We're gonna put this guy here. And this is just going to be a test. Yep, that worked. Okay. So for this to work, we need to have some type of metal in. So we smelt up some iron. Throw that in there. Oh, we didn't bring any lava. You want to freaking go? We're going to grab a bucket here. And... Cool. So let's go grab one of those mob imprisonment things. And we're going to go find a village. Okay, guys. So it's been a little bit. Uh, I went ahead and got some villagers, and I've tested this out. It still does work in the one that we are using now. Uh, we do have, we killed one villager and got that, so I'll show you guys here. We have this this villager guy here. We're going to put him inside. Yeah, it sucks for you, huh? We were, what, 60 millibuckets? Oh, you can see that he died and gave us 114 millibuckets. So... That's pretty neat, um, but you guys are probably pretty smart, and you realize, hey, Turtle, you kind of have something in your inventory called a restored mob spawner for a villager. Uh, this is what you get when you ask questions like, can I put a villager in a restored mob spawner instead of should I? Um, yeah, so we're able to actually do that. So what we're going to do here is we are going to get some conveyor belts going. And we're going to see about making a little mob room just to see if it works. Uh, we're going to use glass because villagers don't really require dark spaces. So let's get some conve. I should have a few. I only have four of these left. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, but we should have a lot more now. Okay, so we have two full stacks. Uh, let's go ahead and get this far departed. I'm just going to. Can we actually put this on here? Yes, we can. Good. Okay, good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill all of this in. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this as a time lapse or anything like that, but we need it to, from the center, to come out. One, two, three. So we're going to be building up the platform here. So that way all the villagers get inside and they die. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, so we've kind of got this set up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and we're going to bring this over into the center, like so. We'll spawn the villagers up here. Uh, we might have to... <laughs> we're going to have to break this without dying. And for some reason, we're breaking this really slow. I think we have we're having some symptoms of the radiation poisoning again. I think there's an issue with how close we are to the fission reactor because I'm in the base all the time and I'm pretty sure that I've gotten a bunch of issues. Okay, so here we go. We'll just screw what I said. Uh, let's go ahead and put the speed upgrades in there. The villagers should start dropping. Hey, that's illegal. We didn't need to make this two more taller. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're spotted in pretty quick. They're, this doesn't require any essence like I had set up before. This just requires the grid power that we have set up already. Uh, that's an issue. Hey, you're going to have to get off of that. Yeah, shoot. How many emeralds are we up to now? One gem. So it takes... How did you get up here? That takes a few of these guys. I mean, I could solve this just by putting conveyor belts up here, but I don't want to. I want to make this beautiful. Um, actually, this is actually going to be really ugly. I'm going to have to like tear all of this down off camera and rebuild it so it's not so ugly. We're going to make it look so beautiful, guys. You're just going to love it. Okay. So I'm going to get some extra blocks here. Maybe to go up one more. But this, this will literally run nonstop. Like, we don't have to do anything. 
And the way we get the emeralds out is we're going to set up a... We need to leave the... Um, the iron in there, but I don't know how we're going to prioritize the emeralds coming out. Which might be a little tricky. Shoot, get off of there. Okay, so they shouldn't be spawning out of there anymore. What are we up to now? Three emeralds! Three! Count them! Three emeralds! These guys are loud, holy heck. Holy heck, Batman. Um, I mean, it's working, like... It works, but I'm really worried that it's not working fast enough to keep up. Um, so we're going to break this. Villagers are going to stop dying. I'm going to put a drain here. Now they're going to start dying again. We're going to put a casting basin here with the emerald casting. And let's have a look here. Can we can we get a, a clock to get this running? I just opened up my taskbar settings. I don't know why. Um, we don't want this guy. Um, this guy though. Let's have a look. Ooh, yes, this will work. This is what we want. Uh, so it's a redstone clock, and so we can find a timing that will work. Say we we put in like every, I don't know, x amount of seconds, uh, it will turn on. Turn on the faucet and then turn off. So we can go ahead and set that up. We don't need to worry about it. And that will allow us to keep killing these guys. Keep killing them dead. Uh, oh, that that actually kept it. That's amazing. Because we're going to have to put this here. So we're going to do everything but down. So down is the only one that should turn on. Let's see here. I think that worked. Yeah, that works. I need to get Optifine installed. Let's let's test this out. So we just need it to activate like ticks. Uh we need I want it to activate like every 30 seconds. So every let's see. Let me do the let me do the stuff off camera. Okay, so it seems that a typical second is 20 Minecraft ticks. So this is going every three seconds. So to do that, we're gonna set this to 500. <laughs> um, I think that's good. So if we do that, this should wait every 30 seconds to go off. Are we able to even keep up? Hey, I would say we are. Let's go ahead and set up a conduit to throw this into a drawer to see how we're doing. Because it won't take the iron out, but the problem is is I want to keep the emeralds at the bottom so it keeps coming out because it'll get jammed if we leave only the re the emeralds in there and then we'll just have a bunch of villagers dying for no reason. Uh, so we need it to go like every once in a while. So, I don't think I have any more item conduit. Actually, it should be in here. Yes, good. I'm running really low on that. Gotta, gotta get the conduit back up. Okay, so let's go ahead like this into the drawer. We will, okay, we'll do the test and throw emeralds in this. And we will extract out of here and put into here. So whenever this is ready, it will go. When we updated to the, the latest version of MC Eternal, um, we kind of, oh yeah, we are, we are definitely keeping up. We might need to go like every 250. We're, we're going to half the time. Actually, I think we have the settings wrong. So this needs to be 250 and this needs to be at like 60. So because emeralds take so long, we're just going to have, I think, two of these drains going at the same time. And we're going to leave it at the, I guess we'll just leave the clock at the basic thing because I don't think it's actually fast enough uh, so we're gonna head back to the starter base not enough experience fun times oh uh, I think all my emeralds are over there I 
And because they take so slow, we might even be able to make that work. But I'm just going to put this here because we can only have it so it updates the bottom. So that way it should be a lot more lag friendly for the server. And I think everyone will appreciate that on the server. It's funny. I switch where I spawn in over here to where the mobs are because I was over there so much. And now that I've done that, I've, I actually need it to be over here, which I think is hilarious. Okay. Okay, we got our second drain thing. Yes. Let's get a drain and faucet. So I think we have another faucet. Yep, faucet. And then a drain, maybe? Nope, we need to make it. Yep, this guy. You there. You there. Ogre. I. <laughs> Uh, I love Shrek. Okay, so let's go ahead and get up here to these guys. And we're going to add up our second buddy. Yep, so now it's just a bunch of villagers. Now they start dying again. Cool beans. I, I just love it when this happens. All right, so since this is taking so long, we're just going to deactivate all of those, except for the bottom. Put the this guy here. Put the this guy here with this guy. I'm going to go ahead and break this guy. Cool beans. I'm going to go ahead and just do one of these. We're going to run it through the back. We don't need you anymore because we have the cool back ones. Get out of here! don't remember asking for you not to. Okay, cool. So we can put these in the back. Just score, like so. And then we can go ahead and extract out of this guy. Shebang. And out of this guy's shebang. So now we got this going. Two of these are going. Hopefully these can keep up. If not, we can add a third drain. But I actually think maybe we need to add in. We're up to four gems. But emeralds take so freaking long to do. I think we're okay. I'll, whoa. This holds 666 millibuckets. What? Okay, how are we doing? Up to three, four... Back down to three. So we're draining into one still. Okay, that one's drained. Okay, so we're we're going too long. So let's make this. 500 ticks, and we'll make this one 500 ticks. Because, I mean, it is a server, so there's going to be a little bit of lag, but we need this. We need to make sure this, it, do, it these the emeralds stay on the bottom. I, I would be, I would rather have it overflowing with villagers than being stuck on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to stay here. We're going to get the timings right, and I'll be back. All right, dudes. So some time has passed, and I've gone ahead and added up another villager spawner here i've got uh, these uh, speed upgrades in here they're the second tier basically and this one's maxed out with the second tier guys so we're getting quite a lot of villagers falling in now or have no problem with that but i don't know if we actually are able to keep up with this now i've got these set to run every 600 ticks uh, and we've already got over a stack of emeralds saved up i've got one emerald upgrade in here so we should be okay. I'm going to let this run for a while off camera, but we're going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And guys, if you love this setup, we're going to make it more beautiful. Let me know down in the comments what you think we could do with this. I would love to know. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. My skin's back. We're better. Goodbye.